Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about some features of ACRAS that may be helpful while simulating a model. Suppose I am drawing a river ridge here. Then think that after coming at this point, I have mistakenly double clicked here. Then give a name here. Then click on OK. Now, if you want to move the point, you have to go to edit, then select move points. Then you have to select the point, then keep pressing the left click of your mouse and move the point here. Then again, go to edit, then click move points. Now it seems to be okay. In our previous tutorial, I have drawn another river reach here and I have told that after coming close to this point, you have to double click here so that Hectus can understand that you want to make a junction point here. But think that after coming at this point, you have mistakenly double clicked here. Again, I am giving a name here. Then click OK then select yes. Now you can see that Hectras cannot understand that you want to make a junction point here because there is a, a big gap between the two reach. So again, I have to move the point of this reach. So for that, go to edit, move points, then select the point and move the point close to this point. Now you can see that Hectors can understand that you want to make a junction here. So give a name here and then click OK. Here you can see that here is our junction point. Then again go to edit, then select move points. Now it is OK. Now uh, you can go to edit, then go to delete. You can delete the reach or junction from here, suppose I am selecting reach here and I want to delete both of the reaches. So for that, you have to select all rivers, then click here, then click on OK. You can also uh, clear the list by selecting clear selected list here. But if you want to uh, delete only one reach, then you have to select uh, that particular reach. Suppose I am uh, selecting the river here uh, and the reach is here, then click here, then you have to select OK. But if you want to delete both of the river reaches, then you have to select all rivers here, then click here. So here you can see that our river and reaches uh, have been selected here, then click on OK, and then select Yes, click Yes. So here you can see both of the river reaches have been deleted. You can also add points or remove points uh, by uh, clicking here. In our previous tutorial, we have learned about the concepts of natural river junction and based on the concept we have simulated a model so here is our model file and here is our excel file suppose uh, some observed water level from survey data uh, were given here and you you have to export the simulated water level uh, in this column so in our experiment, we have run the model for manning sen of 0 0.025. Now, if you want to export the water surface elevation, you have to click here, then go to options, then select reaches, then select all, then click on okay so here you can see that you can see the water surface elevation for all the river station suppose i am copying the 
water surface elevation of podda so for that select the cells here then control c and go to your excel file then in the column of podda paste the data by control v then again go to here then copy the data of jomuna by control c then go here then paste the data here by control v then again go here then select the data of ganges by control c then select uh, paste the data here by control v now if you want to see the difference of your observed water level uh, of the survey data and the simulated water level that you have uh, got from the model file for manning sand of 0 0.025 uh, so for that go to this column then give an equal sign then just give a minus here then fill the column here so here you can see that here is our difference of observed water level and simulated water level for manning sand of 0.025 now Suppose I have uh, told you that you have to again export simulated water level for 0 0.027 of Manning sand and 0 0.023 of Manning sand. So for that, go to your geometry file, then go to tables, select Manning sand or K values. Here you can see that our Manning sand is visible here. So if you want to change all the Manning sand for all the rivers, select here. You can see that all the Manning sand value is here. Then by left click on your mouse, select the three columns here, then select set values. Then suppose I am uh, trying to give the Manning sand 0 0.027 so write 0 0.027 here then click okay so here you can see that our manning sand for all the uh, reaches have been changed then click okay so now go to your cross-sectional data here you can see that the manning sand have been changed you can randomly check check here so now uh, save the data as file save geometry data as suppose i am giving it junction experiment data then underscore 0 0.027 then click on ok then go to steady run then give a name of your plan suppose i am giving a name as JD run then 0.027 try to give a name so that you can understand uh, easily for which manning sand it has been simulated then click ok then again give a name suppose i am giving a name as run underscore 0 0.027 then click on ok and give a run here So our simulation is completed. Then again, go to the table here. Then again, uh, select the water surface elevation of Podda. So here you can click Control C, then go to your Excel file then beside the data of podda you can paste the data here by control v again go to your table profile output then select the data of jumuna by control c then go to your excel file then beside the data of jumuna paste the data here 
and again go to the table and select by control c then go to your excel file and press the data here by control p then again go here and just give a equal sign and minus the data from here to here then click enter then just double click uh, auto fill the data here so here you can see the difference of water level uh, is visible here here it is minus sign because the simulated water level uh, seems to be uh, lower than Uh, so why it is minus here we have to check here the difference is uh, seen to be minus because the simulated water level for Manningsen of 0 0.027 is higher than our observed water level so the, uh, for that the minus sign is here by following the same procedure you can again run your model by changing your manning sen for 0 0.023 then again simulate the model and fill up the columns here and here so that's it see you in next tutorial